Welcome back to Lewis the Van. Today we're raising a glass to the beginning of a new year and to the end of our fifth camper conversion. With all that 2020 was, we couldn't think of a better way to show 2021 who's boss than with the longest, largest, and most exhaustive build we've completed to date, not to mention the first with a full bathroom and shower. If you're watching this now, this van is officially for sale. For serious inquiries, please reach out using the contact link in the description box below. If you're looking to build a van rather than purchase this one, check out that same box for a full breakdown of all of the items used in this conversion along with their individual links. Sharing this passion of ours on this platform has brought us so much joy. So thank you for being here and engaging with us. Cheers. While the build itself is housed in a 2015 170 inch wheelbase sprinter with 80,000 miles, we aim to make the interior indistinguishable from that of a studio apartment. This goal drove many of our decisions, such as the main layout and the fact that we only chose to install these two small sliding camper windows. To further accomplish this goal, we constructed two wall dividers. The first of which sections off the cab from the living area and the second of which separates the living area from the back of the van where the bath and garage are located. This is a fantastic way to create the sense of having different rooms in a small space. While calling the open road home, it also makes for great privacy. At the base of the cab divider, you can find your 5 kilowatt diesel heater with a remote start function. This heater is tapped into the onboard fuel tank and can heat this home on wheels in less than 10 minutes, so you'll never have to worry about being anything but extra toasty. This kitchen unit includes a variety of drawers. Two of the most distinguishable include this drawer, which pulls out to reveal a smaller utensil drawer, as well as this drawer, which hinges down as much as needed to provide you with access to the faucet and sink plumbing. This 1800 watt Furion double burner induction stovetop features multiple touch settings and adjustments for heat, making cooking in your home on wheels the least bit demanding. Aside from the storage contained underneath the kitchen unit, you have multiple upper cabinets on either side of the aisle, as well as this enormous floor to ceiling unit. We have something very similar to this in our van and have really enjoyed making it into a wardrobe with space for hanging clothes although you could really take it whichever way you choose. We'd like to thank Iceco for sending us this 65 quart dual zone refrigerator and freezer. If you're interested in purchasing this fridge or a similar one, we'll have it linked down below along with a discount code for 10% off. In the past, we've purchased laminate countertops prefabricated from Ikea. However, this time around, we endeavored to make our own custom countertop by joining together three pieces of oak wood. Customization leads to many possibilities. In this case, constructing our own countertop allowed us to undermount this sink as well as integrate two additional sections of oak. One section is able to cover the sink when not in use and the other is able to slot into the existing counter space to create an extension, making the counter at its full length eight feet long. Overall, we custom fitted more aspects of this kitchen than any previous. Looking in, it's very satisfying to feel the sense of ownership that comes with having handcrafted everything from the cabinets to the counter to the smallest details such as the drawer hardware. If you're not in the need of the additional space for food prep and could use a place to do some computer work or enjoy a cozy meal instead, simply unmount the extension, hook it into its lagoon mount, and swivel it into place. To plug in, choose from two separate hidden electrical outlets. One that slides out and one that pops up, which also features two USB ports. Once it's served its function, this multi-purpose table can be stowed away comfortably underneath this bench seat. In the bench seat opposite, you'll find your 2.5 gallon electric water heater, as well as a backlit water gauge. This is especially handy for monitoring your water level from inside the main living space. While the kitchen is definitely the single largest unit in the van, this long bench seat is easily the most intricate and customized piece due to the fact that it slides out to convert into a bed. Using a slatted design and self-sustained by 750 pound drawer slides, 
This 65 by 50 inch bed is possible without the use of supporting legs of any kind. We especially love that with this unique layout, you still have floor access on this end of the bed. Once transformed back, the bench can lift up to reveal each and every component needed to make this off-grid home possible, as well as the van's main powerhouse, 400 amp hours of lithium. These batteries capture the renewable energy coming in from the 500 watts of solar atop the roof of the vehicle. As solar energy is captured by these flexible panels, this Victron Blue Solar 35 amp MPPT charger catalogs the power and then allows you to view consumption from your phone using Bluetooth. We also included a 30 amp DC to DC charger, which can be used in either power supply mode or charging mode to keep your batteries topped off while you drive. Above the bench, you can find the main 12 volt control panel. Included here are two fuse boxes with a total of 24 fuses and six toggle switches, which are responsible for controlling the on-off functioning of the water heater, gray water tank dumps, water tank warmer pads, and battery warmer pads. While we're on the topic of 12 volt appliances, we might as well discuss lighting options, of which there are a total of six in the main living area. All are touch dimmable LED strips that are controlled from this switch panel. The sixth switch can be found in a separate location and controls what has to be our favorite ambient option for this van, illuminating the two indented wall boxes in the sliding door. As full-time van lifers caught in the midst of this pandemic, we quickly learned the importance of having unrestricted access to bathing facilities. For this reason, we prioritized this full shower and bathroom. With its dark tile and dark fixtures, it is quite the stark contrast to the white, bright living area. What's most spectacular about this bathroom, in our opinion though, is its size and location. Measuring 30 by 40 inches, it is as large as many house showers and makes for an incredibly deluxe space and luxurious experience. Because it's cut off from the living area by way of a divider wall, it's not the typical eyesore that bathrooms tend to be when placed within tiny spaces. Its location at the back of the vehicle allows for exterior rear access, which is a huge perk for outdoorsy types like ourselves. After a particularly grueling hike, you can avoid tracking dirt throughout your main living space by entering through the back door and using this detachable hose to wash off any equipment, such as a bike. Once inside, signal the water pump, pop open this max air dome fan, turn on your rain shower, adjust the dial to your preferred temperature and enjoy. While gray water from the kitchen sink empties into a 12 gallon tank, gray water from the shower drains into a separate five gallon tank. Both gray water tanks are winterized with warmer pads, mounted safely underneath the vehicle and feature a remote dumping function that can be controlled from inside the van. For the purposes of this video, we're using this portable travel toilet as our prop, but you could easily accommodate your toilet of choice with this pre-wired vent fan lead most composting toilets require. Depending on the size and location of your preferred toilet, you may not even have to move it out of the area to shower, which is a typical practice in vans. From there, pop open the other back door to access the garage. In addition to having insulated and carpeted storage large enough to fit a bike or other gear, this is where you'll be able to fill your main 25 gallon freshwater tank and check the corresponding water level using another backlit line gauge. If you've enjoyed this tour, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Because we bring this content totally free to you, your engagement is the best kickback we can receive. And to stay up to date with us in real time on future projects, including one which we are beyond eager to announce, head over to Lewis the Van on Instagram. That's a wrap for us today, but we'll see you next time.